is Paul. Yes. <laughs> Just looking at these, uh, part three, breach of marriage, the principles. Yes. Article 59, the court and any person concerned with a breach of marriage shall have regard to the below mentioned general principles. <laughs> The institution of marriage shall be preserved. <laughs> Spouses to a marriage which may have broken down are to be encouraged to take all practical steps, whether by marriage counseling, oh, <laughs> reconciliation procedures uh, foreseen by this law or otherwise to save the marriage. <laughs> A marriage which has irretrievably broken down should be brought to an end, po, with the minimum distress to the parties and to the children affected, <laughs> dealt with in a manner designed to promote as good in continue a uh, continuing relationship <laughs> between the parties and any children affected as possible uh, in the circumstances and without cost being unreasonably incurred. <laughs> in connection with the procedures to be followed in bringing the marriage to an end <laughs> and oh that any risk of harm or violence to spouses and to children should be avoided oh now there's the different types of breach of marriage oh death of the spouse mm -hmm. uh, marriage is dissolved only upon claim and by court order through annulment void marriage or dissolution divorce <laughs> annulment or dissolution become legally effective when the judgments of the court annulling or divorcing the marriage becomes final oh, when a missing spouse is announced dead oh now official legal action required oh to bring a factual relationship or out of marriage relationship to an end no official legal action is required oh really the annulment of the marriage oh, Marriage entered, oh, existing of a previous, oh, uh -huh. then let's see, marriage newly bonded at the time, oh, 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 and both marriages, oh, uh -huh. fear, violence, or threat, marriage shall be annulled if the spouse has provided uh -huh. consent under fear, violence, or threat, mm -hmm. oh, formal deficiencies, ooh, error and deceit. <laughs> Marriage may be annulled if it was bonded by error regarding the identity of the spouse. Ooch. Marriage entered into because of willful deceit regarding facts which, if known in time, would have stopped the spouse from entering into such marriage, <laughs> and which now, oh, make a uh, common life unbearable shall be annulled. Ooch. Then there's that lack of intent. Oh, the when the spouse's marriage was, were not in fact interested mm -hmm, in establishing. Oh, 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 oh. Now let's see here. There is something necessary. Oh, to annul a marriage. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, now this religious marriage certificate mm -hmm. that we were read our rights and obligation, oh, there is something to being able to dissolve or annul it, yes, 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 now I noticed that this community property debt that we have, yes, mm -hmm. did Heidi have half of that? Or you decided that I was going to get the wage garnishment because, <laughs> uh, oh, minimum distress due to the parties. Now, there's uh, what's called uh, the general principle 59. Oh, <laughs> it shall be preserved. Oh, now, I had thought that we would go to marriage counseling. <laughs> In fact, uh, Wayne, during an evaluation, had suggested that if Mrs. Budnick wanted to go to marriage reconciliation, <laughs> according to the official document from Guam, that it should be that we reconciled. But somebody said, Pooch, do you understand that there are certain requirements to being able to annul a marriage? Yes, now, I'm going to want my rights and the obligations of the United States 
to enforce the contractual bonded wedlock that was understood at the time of the religious ceremony that we ourselves had said, I do want you for the rest of our lives. <laughs> now, I know, okay, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little upset because it seems that Qualum County doesn't understand the international ramifications of using forgeries <laughs> to issue protection orders where I was not given notice or opportunity. Do you think that today you could have my sons call me and I would like to speak to Marilyn because there's that picture? Do you think that you could read the actual governing document of the religious marriage certificate and understand that at the time would you enforce the actual laws of the United States?